So after the chest, we reach quest step 15, which asks us to complete Operation Diocils. Yes, I probably pronounced that wrong. I'm sorry, I pronounced everything wrong. So let's go to our destinations tab here. Let's go to the helm. And we're going to sneak over to the one on the just peeking through on the right hand side over here to the War Mind launch facility. And we're going to go complete that operation. So it looks like this time we're headed towards the right hand side. Whereas last, last time it had us go towards the left. So let's go to the right over here and see what we can do. Okay, so we start to get hit by the tower here. We're going to use these rocks. And you have to get right in the center here of these two rocks. One thing I didn't do last time was let my timer fully reset. So we're going to make sure that we get back up to 15 seconds on the timer before we go anywhere this time. And we can uh, pull out our ghost just to double check where we need to go. Let's keep following these rocks along. Now we need to make sure that this one over here is not sniping us. So we get right into the little crevice here in the rocks, the corner joint. We're going to keep going. It looks like we might get hit from the left here, but... Okay, so we're fine right behind this rock right here. We have to keep going this direction. Alright, so I tried to go up right here and stay along that sidewall and it didn't quite work. But you can go into this little corner here, so just run straight forward to this section. And then we're going to run over this way. And it looks like if we crouch, we can hide again. So let's jump up. Get behind this one and go in this little corner section right here. It hides us from both sides. And then we are going to run forward again. Looks like just crouching right here blocks us from this one in front. And also from this one over here on the right. So we're going to let our timer reset. We're going to jump up and go right through this little tunnel. And we need to keep going to the right here. Maybe if I go across to this side. Oh, we're good here. Looks like up and over the wall, maybe? Yeah, okay, so... We have to go to this section here, and then we have to make it from there all the way up to this rock, it looks like. And then we hide behind this rock here. And I think we go up and over the top here. So we're following these little lanterns, I guess? Yeah, yeah, we're following the lanterns. So we go forward here to this section. And we can hide on this side here to fight the enemies. So crouching behind these does hide you. And we can go forward here. Go around to this side here. And shoot out the vents. Okay. Well, they definitely made it a little bit more complicated this time. I'll try to condense uh, my whole thought process there for you guys a little bit. Make it a little less confusing than I was. But let's continue forward down the vents here. How does one... I think maybe sprint and then slide. Okay, yeah, because you duck down when you slide. So if straight crouch walking through there doesn't work, then like just sprint a little bit and slide underneath. So for this one here, I think maybe we can just go on top here and sprint. Yeah, so you just jump up on the boxes and sprint. Or you could just jump over this if you want to, but that's the easier option for me. We get to this section here. We have to jump again. But we're going to try not to smack our heads too bad, okay? So I didn't sprint jump there. I just regular jumped because I didn't want to bounce off this wall and fall back into it. And uh, it looks like we're into the part of this mission where we have to kill a bunch of enemies. For the enemies here, we can really easily hide from this by just go going underneath of this middle section here. And then just pop out to take some shots with whatever your heavy weapon is.
That was a little odd. We need to kill the witch to get through the door, but my witch glitched through the door. Luckily, she glitched back, and I was able to kill her, but yeah, that would have been fairly annoying. So for the crystals that are completely immune, all you need to do is kill the enemies in the area, then a hive witch will spawn, and then you simply shoot the crystals, and it unlocks the door. This section here might be a little bit tricky. I'm just kind of playing around this pillar. I did enough damage to um, this one, this enemy over here, to that I can, okay, use my super, I guess, to stay alive. Um, but I did damage to the one to the point where she's immune. And now I have to go and do some damage to the other one. Once you damage them both to the point where they're immune, you then have to take out one of the Shriekers. After you take out the Shriekers and you take out the Explodey Curse Thralls, then we just have to shoot some of these crystals. Make sure that you're hiding whenever you see that appear on your screen. The like orange like wave or gas go across your screen. There are the three crystals to destroy. We're going to destroy them all and now we are going to attack the witches. I'm not going to fully kill that one because I'm not sure what happens if you kill one too far before the others. So I'm just going to continue to hide behind this pillar. Reload my heavy weapon. We're going to fully kill this one. Now we'll go over and finish this one. And then now we'll kill the Shrieker in the middle. And we just have to get rid of all of the track mobs here and the curved thralls. Download the launch codes here. All right, so that is the end there. We have the encrypted launch codes. So anyways, guys, I hope this video helped. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, everybody.